Hello, welcome back to Crafting with Slavi. Today's card video is another project for my holiday card series. This one is also featuring Lawn Fawn product. I know you're shocked, right? And it's using primarily the Reveal Wheel Car Critters and Car Critters Christmas add-ons. I wanted to switch up the color palette a little bit here. So I'm using Tumbled Glass. I think that's shaded lilac and wilted violet. Um, confirming it will be in the description below if I'm saying the wrong thing. My apologies. And I am just blending out the top of this panel. I am going to be including um, another cutoff panel using the stitched hillsides from Lawn Fawn. And that's going to be kind of like my snow bank I guess so after I finished ink blending I did splatter some water on the panel and then I smushed tumbled glass and the wilted violet and I just splattered those on the back of the panel and again I was just focusing on the top because that's what you're going to be able to see from there I and this is how I lined it up to also figure out where I wanted my hillside to be. I lined up the the car and I just made little tick marks on either side of the tires with my pencil because I want to make a road. And then I lined up um, the middle of the card with my Tim Holtz design ruler there. And I just did that on both sides so that they were equal. Cause you know, OCD is a real thing. I feel like us card makers got a lot of it going on and then I used I think this is hickory smoke um, to make my road and I tried to be as light-handed as possible I don't know how successful I was um, but I ended up liking the result so it's all good and then oh and I used post-it tape to hold down um, where I was wanting to do the ink blending. And part of the reason why I used post-it tape is because it's very low tack. So I knew that when I moved to ink blend the outside, it was gonna be fine. Where I took a wrong turn though, is I didn't use fresh post-it tape. I should have, cause it just kept peeling up on me. It ended up working out fine, but I don't think I would have gotten as heavy handed with the blueprint sketch as I did, if not for the fact that I wasn't sure, like the, the ink was on there and I wasn't sure how much of that um, gray ink was coming off on my panel. And it ended up working out for this card design because it kind of looks like they're in dusk. And um, I was happy with the result. But if you are a person that that matters to, um, plan ahead, use more post-it tape. I then took my Signo white gel pen and I just drew the lines onto the road um, and set that off to dry. While that was drying, I um, got to working on my card. So that um, previous clip there was me using Wilted Violet on the arrow. And that's going to point the way that the reveal wheel is supposed to go. And then I'm using some Copic markers to go around um, this part. This is the reveal wheel inside um there's two circles that you cut out with the reveal wheel there's this one and there's the little one you can kind of see it over to the left there and this one i am coloring all the way around but avoiding there's kind of like an indentation so you can see um as i color you can see where i'm just going up to it and that's how far out um, the recipient is able to see the reveal wheel and i wanted that part to stay white so I just went around and colored everything else blue and I didn't want um, the background of the vehicle to have any white spots. So I just colored everything blue. Um, so the recipient, as they turn it, it just looks like it's the same thing. All right, so I'm gonna step back and let you watch the coloring and I will be back shortly.
Okay, so now that the coloring's done, I wanted to stamp out um, a little thing inside of my license plate on my car. It just says, um, I think it's Jingle Bells. They're really cute. They come in the Car Critters add-on. And let's talk a little bit about the construction of this reveal wheel. So I've got my template, then my critter background, and then that little white circle. And then I used a brad to go through it. And I'm putting foam adhesive on that little tiny circle and lining it up. And that's why I have the template. I took the backing off and then I just adhered it to my white base. I then take off my template and I put the brad back down and I'm ready to attach it to my colored panel. And you do want to put more foam adhesive down. So this card, to me anyway, it becomes quite bulky because of the amount of um, foam adhesive that you're using. So when it came to putting um, the rest of my embellishments on the front of the card, I chose to keep a lot of it very flat and um, that worked for me. It actually ended up working out really well for this card, I think. So after I put the foam adhesive on, I just took everything off and the way to line it up perfectly is to do that. Just tap it down and um, line it up on the sides and that way you have a very um, symmetrical alignment, I guess. And then I just used um, glue to adhere it to my panel. And that was that. Done. Reveal wheel done. And now we're just going to embellish. All right. If you like what you're seeing so far, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And... Let's keep talking about this card. So as you can see, it looks very night timey and that's okay. So I'm gonna adhere everything down and we're decorating the car as if it were Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which is so fun. Thank you, Lon Fawn, for coming up with this creative stuff. I just love it so much. And we have a little bit of snow to put on the top of the vehicle so they've obviously been driving a very long time and just to make things interesting oh and i should mention those other trees that i'm going to be adhering to um, the foreground here they are actually from winter skies which is another lawn fawn um, set and they were just perfect for this because they match that tree that they're carrying so it almost looks like they're all from the same forest. Um, but once everything was adhered, I felt like this card needed something extra. And I honestly thought that I was done. So I was embellishing away, putting in snow with my white gel pen, going to town. And then I realized that I don't have a sentiment. So I... Uh, did come back and do a sentiment, but um, I wanted you to see this part because I do add a bunch of snow as if the snow has been called falling for a while. And because of the darker colors, this actually works because it's almost like they're driving through the snow towards the end of the day and um, they're going to whatever festivities they need to go to and they're just having a lot of fun. So once that was all done i did take out my red cardstock and the red cardstock that i'm using is from recollections brand which is the michaels brand and um, i'm using the sentiment from winter skies and embossing it with gold embossing powder it is very simple um or actually i think it's from car critters it's from car critters the xmas add-on my apologies and it just says driving by to say merry christmas and i think that's what it says <laughs> yes driving by to say merry christmas my goodness i can you tell i've done a lot of these cards and um i used my ruler again just to line it up to make sure that they're perfectly centered and that's my card so i hope you enjoyed the video today 
make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you.